Well, hello everyone, I'm Brandon Bonifer and you are on Focus. And today we are at the Buccaneer in Roselleville to meet one of the new owners, Ariel Gorse. Thank you for joining us today. Let's kind of step back in time a little bit and tell us about why you have a passion in this industry. Uh, I guess I've always uh, been in this industry. I started when I was 14. First job was at Hot Now. Uh, yeah. Uh, then I once I turned 18, I got my bartending license. Uh, I worked at the American Legion of Marshfield and the Cameron Club, and then they slowly eased me into serving. And I just, I've always enjoyed the, I guess, getting to know the customers on a one-on-one -on -one basis and being like a family, kind of. It's like a second family, and it's fun, you know. It's it's just fun. And I, I like the the upbeat pace too when it's really busy where you're constant go 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 so it's always been something that i've always just been passionate about so yeah now you've been at the buccaneer for how long uh it'll be two years in december so. and over the last two years you've been recognized and actually for five years now consecutively you've been recognized as the best waiter waitress in the marshfield area what does it mean to have that award and for people to vote for you as that prestigious position um it feels really good, you know, especially five years in a row. Um, I don't know of too many other people that have done that. So it just, it, it makes me feel like I'm doing something right. Yeah. So. And when it comes to waitressing and waitering for that matter, what is the priorities that you have when you're working with customers? Uh, taking care, very good care of them, but also getting <clears throat> to know them. Uh, remember what they eat, remember what they drink, remember you know, things about stories that they've told you, you know, oh, how was your trip when you were down, you know, so-and-so, and just things like that, because it, the more personable you make it, the, the more the customer likes it, yeah. Now, you've been at Buccaneer now for two years. How has your role changed over the last two years? Uh, I worked here probably for about nine months, and then um, I was moved to bar manager, and then... Um, uh, a couple of the other owners had approached me back in, I want to say May, about becoming um, one of the owners, and we sat and talked and talked, and finally uh, I had agreed because it's, honestly, it's always been something that I've wanted. I've always wanted my own restaurant, and they just kind of said, well, here, here you go. It was, it's pretty cool, yeah. So obviously to be an employee and to work for an establishment is one thing and there's a set of responsibilities that go with that. But to be an owner has a whole new level of responsibility. What excites you about that next step or chapter in your life? Getting, getting to change, you know. Um, uh, Scott Kleinschmidt is one of the other owners and he, he's pretty much like the general manager, but he's always here like I am. And I, I see a lot of good things coming down the road because we are talking about changing some things here and it's it's cool because now it's some of it's my idea too you know it's not just like okay Ariel this is what we're doing and you have to follow this but my insight gets to come into it too so it's great talking about change Buccaneer has went through a lot of change in the last couple of years yes. uh, change in ownership change in menu change in decor and you talk about some of the excitement that's down the road uh, being a part of the ownership team, uh, what do you think is going to set Buccaneer apart from the other restaurants or supper clubs in the area uh, in the next five to ten years? Um, well, ob obviously our food. Um, we have tremendous food and everything is fresh. It's all homemade here. We make everything here. There's nothing that, I mean, we order in fresh stuff and it's just the variety that you know we have but I also think the atmosphere um, I was talking with a customer last night and she said that that is the reason why she drives from Man Road all the way out here she's like it's just the atmosphere she's like it's better than any of the places in Marshfield I just feel so comfortable here you know so I think a lot of it is the people you know the servers the bartenders you know even me <clears throat> but the atmosphere this place has so so kind of sounding off on that atmosphere thing we kind of have a pretty awesome event coming up that kind of really ignites your ownership here at the buccaneer tell me a little bit about that and how did the rest of the ownership really kind of get you to buy into that um honestly they were the ones that really wanted to push for um, a special event to kind of introduce me into becoming into the ownership which i i know that you guys already had done an article and i I, I don't know, I, I guess I felt, I, I, I didn't really ask for it, 
but it's what they wanted to do because it's they're great owners all all the rest of the owners are just absolutely wonderful they're like a gigantic family and i think it's they know how much it means to me so they want to make sure you know it's official it's here it is and but we will be having um uh, one new drink coming out you know i know that they're going to be running some specials i don't know on what exactly but once we make it official you know i'm hoping everybody's going to come out here and help celebrate so now this event you're saying is open to the public and open to all present and past and future customers of the buccaneer when is it when does it start and kind of what should people expect uh september 5th and the doors open at 4 p.m and i guess i'm just hoping everybody's going to have fun socialize and bring an appetite you know that's that's about it well that's what it is it is a celebration it is the next chapter in your life and it's also another chapter in the history here at buccaneer we're sitting next to uh what used to be at one point a fireplace that fired a blacksmith shop here in Rosellville and you look forward and look at this facility in space and look at all the history it has and to leave your mark on that history how does that feel knowing that you're the next chapter or part of the next chapter at the Buccaneer here in Rosellville? I, it makes me excited absolutely excited honestly um, when they gave me this opportunity I I cried I just bawled right in front of all of the other owners and it's just I can't wait I'm excited very excited well, that is in a celebration, and that is going to be a fun time. So you better make your way out to the Buccaneer on that event date. Check out the link above for more information. It's open to the public. It's a great time. And we're going to try to pull in one more owner to hear a little bit about what his take is on the opportunity and the expansion and the ownership team here at the Buccaneer. So stay tuned. As a leadership team, Scott, before you presented her with this opportunity, you must have had some conversations. Was there particular characteristics, traits, values, uh, or just something about her that really stood out that you guys wanted to invite her as part of your leadership team? As I said before, her dedication is second to none. Um, with that, coupled with the fact that she has been voted uh, best server in Marshfield five years in a row, um, we just really uh, thought those were great attributes to bring to the Buccaneer and hope that she can help us to instill those in our staff. And talking about those five years in a row that she's received that award is quite astonishing. And knowing that there's been a lot of people in the community that have been able to contribute to her success and just really follow her, especially as she come here to the Buccaneer, you guys are planning a celebration to kind of kick off her ownership, and that's going to be coming up here in September. What's going to make that uh, party celebration unique? Are you guys doing anything special for her or for those that are invited to come? Because we understand it is open to the public. Absolutely. We are looking forward to that event, September 5th, starting at 4.30. We're looking to offer um, appetizers, discounted appetizers, discounted drinks. Ariel's got a special drink that she's designed for this. Um, we're going to be having um, door prizes, so that'll be fun. Well, that sounds great. Guys, if you're going to want to follow the Buccaneers page, the link is in the description above. Uh, included in the article will be some additional information about her experience and growth here at the Buccaneer. I'm Brandon Boner for Non Focus, covering the news that matters most to you. If you like what we're doing, hit the like button, subscribe to our page, and stay tuned as we continue to cover what's happening here in our rural communities.